Hey guys, just a quick reminder. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified every time that I post. Thank you for your time. And I gave 200. So, why are we giving height to the container when we implement this widget inside of the list view? I'm going to explain to you guys why is it important to give this height and if you don't give it things are not going to work properly but about the 200 is just you can give any value you want i just tested it and i thought that 200 was a good size to give it okay so now we are going to give child new carousel you don't need to write the new it's just a matter of habit that's why i'm writing you can just write child carousel right then we are going to specify something called box box feed box feed cover uh, basically, we are saying here that the images we are going to have inside of this carousel are supposed to fit the complete space of that carousel or that container, right? Then, we have another property called images. And we give these square brackets. And square brackets, if you don't know, we use them to specify that we are working with a list right so every time you see square brackets it's because we want to use a list of things here and what we want to use we want to use asset images asset images are basically these images which are stored inside of the application right we don't use them from any network or something like that and here we're going to provide the location of those images and the location is going to be images slash uh, C1, for example. Dot JPG, because this is the first image. Now, what I'm going to do is copy this. And I'm going to paste it a couple times. Okay, then to make things easier for us, let us open the pub spec file and just come over here and copy this stuff. You paste it here. We come over here and repeat this process. Okay, okay, we're almost done. Just stay with me here, guys. Just stay with me. We only have two more to go. We only have one more to go now. Oops. I do not have the eye for both of these. I there, I here. I guess I'm repeating this. Am I? Yes, sir, I am. So let's just erase this. And this is the last one. We copy, I copy it, we come over here. We paste it. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the noise. We paste it and then we cut this and cut again. 
So here we're just saying that we we'll use the list of images which are going to come from our assets, right? And we still have a couple more properties. I can just write autoplay false. Why am I giving autoplay false? I don't want the images to be rolling automatically because that is going to specific specifically if you're using specifically if you're using the simulator it's going to make your simulator kind of slow and stuff so it's not a good thing to have so i would advise you to write out autoplay false but at, at the beginning if you want to see what does what autoplay does you can just leave it like that then we are going to give animation curve and this is going to be equal to curves dot fast out slow in basically the way the images are going to slide when they're coming in they're going to be slow when they're going out they're going to be fast then we are going to give animation duration for this we are going to provide duration firstly we have to give in which unity and for our case we are dealing with milliseconds and thousand let us try to save this and see what's happening because I don't really like to write a bunch of code without testing it. Okay. I guess I can do this. And when you see the app, seems like nothing has happened. Why? Uh, because of the type of changes we did, when you just do control save, it's not going to do nothing. You will need to rerun the app. Let's rerun it. Okay, let us stop it. And after this, oh, so stupid of me. I'm sorry, I forgot to include this inside of the body tag. Okay, let us do that. That's not a problem. Mm. here on our the drawer finishes here then we are going to give body and for the body we are going to run a new list view inside of our list view we are going to give children and for the children we are going to give image carousel now let's run it here we have it so this is the height we specified inside of this column view over where is it over here the 200 let me suppose we write true in here because most of these properties I gave they only make sense when you're doing the autoplay just take a look take a look you see and you still free to change this all of these make sense in this case so that's why I have this I will just comment it out because you may need to use them on your apps but I would advise you to put this on false you can write through just to see what's going to happen right and rerun the app here if you change the 
order of these, the first image is going to change as well. You see? So you can just pick the image you like, do it like this, and it's going to be the first one. Now, what can we do here? is dot size and as you can see dot size is 2 change the size of these dots I will give 4.0 I like it now I'm going to give another property called indicator BG padding which is basically the padding of you will see what's going to happen. Let's give it 8. Do you see? And if we give something like 6, four for example. Two. Okay. You can even change the colors of the dots if you want. You can give something like dot color. Colors dot red. Control save it. But I guess there's no sense on doing that. I will leave it white. Okay, so I really hope you did understand this and I hope you did enjoy the tutorial, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for dropping the likes and supporting the channel. And I really hope we all grow together. This was our goal for today and we can happily say that we accomplished our goals. So, see you on the next one. Bye.